Hey, how are we doing guys? Gray here and today we've got our week 6 battle? Week 7? Week 7 battle of the UBL. We're going up against Irish Emerald and his Wexford Whale Lords. Uh, he is honestly one of my favourite content creators to watch. Uh, mostly because he's just a genuinely really nice guy, but he's also a very good battler as well. Uh, makes very entertaining content. Um, if you're into Football Manager, I know he does a lot of streams of Football Manager, so if that's your kind of thing, make sure to go check him out. His link will be down in the description below and I'm sure you can find his Twitch um, from his own link down below somewhere. I don't know how YouTube works anymore, but uh, this is a terrifying matchup, and honestly, I feel a little bit underprepared. Um, I know that Irish can beat literally anybody on his day. So, uh, yeah, a little bit worried about this one. He does bring everything that I kind of expected. I guess the Tangrowth was a 50 50, but it does make some sense. Um, glad I packed the Shadow Ball and the um, Shadow Claw on uh, my Aegis Slash this week. Um, the Wincon is actually the Regirock. Which if I get rid of the Scrafty and do a good amount of damage to the Tangrowth, maybe I can actually pull it off. He does bring both potential hazard removal, so maybe setting up webs early is not as good a play as it could have been before. Um, I kind of want to lead off with just like a Starmie. It has a fantastic matchup against almost everything on this team. Um, I think that maybe he's going to want to lead off with Rotom just to scare out um, potential Araquanid. Um, with that information, do I just want to lead off with something else? Maybe not. Um, he also could potentially be Spikes. And so I think, yeah, leading off Starmie probably is okay. It is here kind of more more or less to just kind of wall break. Almost did what I did, I think it was last week against the Auto, where I brought five Mons. Almost did it again there. <laughs> this time with four. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and see what he leads off with. But good luck, have fun to my opponent. If we don't win this one, then it's not season over. We still have two weeks left after this, but a win would be lovely. It'd be very nice. We are currently 3-3. Three and three. I should probably mention that. Going to this week, we had a good couple of wins, but uh, that is the Scrafty. Uh, a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. It is Intimidate. That's good to know. Um, I don't think in any world this is like an AV Scrafty. The Dazzling Gleam is going to be able to kill. It doesn't even kill if it's like not. Um, so yeah, knockoff seems incredibly likely. Um, I could just go into Araquanid. Um, I mean, going to you and just starting to wall break could also be an option. I think I'm actually going to do that. Knocking off is not too bad for me. Um, firstly, because it won't do all that much damage. Just out of curiosity, how much is a Poison Jab or a Thunder Punch doing as a knockoff? Uh, poison Jab will not... Uh, that looks somewhat offensive. Can we now to 165? 14%. Uh, that's a roll, effectively, for for no investment. Um, I think he probably just goes hard into Rotom. I can Nasty Plot once. Um, at plus two against a Rotom Heat. Like, depending on his set, I kind of assume we saw Volt Switch. I'm going to click Nasty Plot. If he stays in and decides to Poison Jab, then I, interesting play, I wouldn't expect it. Goes into Shard. If this hasn't got HP investment, we knock this out with Water Pulse. Unfortunately, we do have to take take the hit first, but knocking this out would be kind of nice. Um, it's pretty nice for my AG. I don't think he's going to expect the Water Pulse. Maybe he does. Maybe he has scouted it. He does Volt Switch. Uh, show me the Lando. That does good amount of damage, actually. I could have just could have just roosted. If he shows me the Lando, that would be great. You may expect Ancient Power. If he expects Ancient Power, that's... Well, that probably would be Lando that comes in. Puffers. Unfortunate. You know... Sometimes the tech doesn't quite pay off. Sometimes it doesn't. And I know I don't outspeed this. Like, 100% I don't. But does Poison Jab knock me out if he has it? Uh, poison Jab, I'm at 87. 46, it would be a roll. 
do I have a free switch into anything? Not particularly. I, I mean, this is a bit of a threat to him, so maybe he just doesn't want to. Uh, I'm just going to go into AG. I think that's probably like a fine mid ground. Because I can roost up later. He sets up Toxic Spikes. I wanted to click Roost so badly there. Oh well. It's what it is. Um, if he is AV Tang. Um, if he's... That's against Blade. If he's AV Tang, he takes like literally nothing from this. Um, but I would rather get that information. That information is kind of nice. Is it a soul vest? I was going to this. Okay. This damage is nice. Very much appreciate any damage on this thing. That's respectable. Rotom Heat. Um, it's like a pivot set. <laughs> Overheat over does do some damage. Uh, my switch out is fairly obvious. He does have the toxic spikes up. That's something for me to remember here. I, I think he's just going to vault. I think he's just going to vault, so I kind of want to just Shadow Ball again. There's a chance we live the overheat as well, but that depends on his investment. Uh, like He's kind of free. I don't think he has to worry all too much. But like I just I don't want to switch out into something that then is going to you know what? Uh no, this is too nice for Lally. It's too nice for Lally for me to do this. Um I'm just gonna go Arachnid on what probably is going to be a Volt Switch, but Volt Switch shouldn't do too much. He does go for the OB, so I'm very glad I made that play. Um he does get to Volt. Does get a vault pretty much for free. Uh, webs are all right, but they're not like absolutely necessary. I kind of do want to set them up still. Yeah, I'm still going to set them up. Like, sure, they aren't necessary, but he's a mice too. This should bounce off me. Yeah. AG is looking better. If that's his switch into AG, next time I'll just rock slide. Into March, that is the tank. Off. I mean, this could be rock slide. Could be rock slide. Leech Life is doing some good damage, and I can get some health back. He can certainly knock off Sleep Powder. That's a bit annoying, but you know, if anything's going to go to sleep, I don't mind it being this. So. Knocked off one turn. Sleep. Uh, I mean, he could go Lando. But he's going to Leech Seed. Okay. So he's sleep out of Leech Seed. That's the set he's running. That's the set he's running. That's fine. Um, I think I'm just going to go Tokus. And keep my Araquanid asleep because it should only have like one, maybe two turns left. And at some point, I might be able to bring it in and just click a move. If he predicts that and goes for a Sludge Bomb, that's just a good play. There's a Sludge Bomb. That's a good play. I can't argue with that. Um, but we are going to live. No poison. I am just going to roost because this won't be able to 2 it KO me. And S slash will do a ton of damage to this thing if it's if it's not uh if it's not a soul vest. It, it's not a soul vest? Of course it's not fucking a soul vest, Jack. You've seen <laughs> Leech Seed and Sleep Powder, what am I saying? So he might want to stay in, but. He can also leech seed here if he wanted. Like, it's a risky play. Yeah, it's a, he's just going to stay in. Maybe try and get the poison. 
Which is completely fair, everyone should just get the poison. He's doing a good amount of damage and he does get the poison. Um, how much am I at after this? 10. Uh, not ideal. I'm going to roost one more time. Because, yeah, I think he is going to switch. And he goes into this. Which is kind of fine. I don't mind that. Um, Air Slash will do some good damage. And if we get the flinch, we're in a pretty good spot. Can go out to Rotom, but nah, he's just gonna let this take damage. That is very respectable, and of course we get the flinch, because it is a Toki Kiss. I have no concerns with clicking Air Slash again. Because then it puts the Rotom also in range of Shadow Ball and I don't have to click another button that maybe I don't want to click. Yeah, I guess for the Aqua Jet, is that going to be enough to put me poison? No. Okay, so we are going to knock out the Quillfish, which means that if we are able to Rapid Spin, if we're able to Rapid Spin then we don't worry too much about Toxic Spikes. Tokus is doing it like its job, effectively it had to just knock out a couple of bits. Would like to, to not be poisoned right now, but you know, it's the game we play. I really can't complain. Especially with the amount of luck we've had recently, can't complain at all. And it's Sludge Bomb, so you're bound to get poisoned. Uh, I was about to say, like, this is a long time for Rotom to come back in. Um, I mean, I can roost on two things, maybe. I mean, I can't even really roost, roost on the. Uh, can't really roost on anything right now. So. Unfortunately, we are going to get knocked out. But Tokius did a good job. Crit, crit mad, 100%. Calling bullshit. Man's hacks me out. Um, what do we get rid of? We got a Krill is actually kind of nice. Uh, this thing comes in. Uh, basically means we're not going to be able to, I mean, we've kind of got to go into this. Which is kind of, I, actually, that's fine by me. Um, I'm going to click Leech Life. In case the tank comes in, leech life in case the tank comes in. I need damage on this. Or I need to force this out. What is Starmie actually doing? Okay, I'm fast asleep still. See, Thunder Punch? He's very slow then. Very slow. Is this speed tie somehow? I don't know why I think it's a speed tie necessarily, but. I'm going to liquidation in case he decides to stay in. I'm hoping he stays in because I would absolutely love this damage. He knows I'm going to wake up low, so maybe he just goes out to tang. And that would be kind of annoying. He does, okay. That is indeed kind of annoying. <clears throat> but I do outspeed this now. So as long as he's not a helmet, which he very well might be, he is, okay. Um, Kieran can still do stuff here. I would have to focus blast to be able to knock out the... Um, 
What do I think his last move is? Probably Giga Drain. I think spinning might be better. Just gonna go cure him. I know we're gonna get poisoned, which is a little bit annoying. Getting rid of Scrafty is one of my win cons. Uh, how much is Ice Beam doing to Scrafty? I, I think I need to click. I kind of need to click Focus Blast, expecting the Scrafty to come in. It's going to be Scrafty. Oh yeah, it's webs. That's why my Arachnid outsped. I'm being dumb. <laughs> Straight up, I am being dumb. Uh, we do connect the Focus Blast. How much is this doing? Does less than 50. Okay. So he is like... AV AV. And if that's the case... Do I need to just... Break with this? I think that might... Because he's... Most likely going for Drain Punch. If he clicks Knock Off, that's a good prediction. Expect me to switch out. Yeah, there's a Drain Punch. And I just want to Gleam this. I just want to Gleam this because it's like fucking max at AV. And he doesn't really switch into this one particularly well. Which is why it kind of sucks that I'm having to maybe potentially let it just go down here. But I think this is playing towards my win condition in the end. But I will need to get Reggie Rock in pretty soon. Pretty soon. I still need to break the Tangrowth, which is the biggest issue. Like, he knows he still needs this. Man, I'm just trying to think of how to get this endgame. He's going to withdraw. He gives me Tango if that is literally the best. Okay, he's going to go into, into this. Just still gotta take the hit. Like he's gotta take a gleam into a hydro pump here. Which the gleam does good damage. Can I get anything from this? Well they uh gleam did roughly 30. Hydro is never killing. I do have my switch into this. I know Shadow Ball is a very safe mid ground for him. But I believe I'm calc to, to live this. Absolutely fine. Yeah. Spadef drop kind of sucks. <laughs> Would be lying if I said it didn't. Uh, Scrafty will take webs, which means uh, Shadow Ball is free. If he goes Tangrowth, that would be best case scenario. Uh, he's just going to let me have Lele, unless he is Kassib Berry. Kassib Berry would make a lot of sense. He's not. So this should knock it out. Yeah. And what would he go, Lando? The issue is that Regirock at plus two just never beats Tangrowth. So, uh, yeah. I just click Air Slash on that turn. Again, like playing to my win cons, I'm not doing that particularly well. Uh, this can still take a hit from Tangrowth. This can still do a, a big chunk to Tangrowth, in fact. Um, even if I'm at plus two, I'm not 
doing anywhere enough, near enough to Tangrowth. Since that beast. Which does put me in a position in which I either need to attack it. Or I need to like lose, potentially. Um Annoyingly I think I got to attack it. Am I expecting me to King Shield here? Yeah, just earthquakes. You're just earthquakes. Um, I mean, I go back into Starmie. I click Hydro, and we see whether or not this thing is Scarf. Then this potentially was not the right play. <laughs> He hasn't seen me change up moves, I don't think, so I'm just going to click Hydro. Maybe his play is that he has to risk it. But if he is Scarfed, he's, he's Scarfed, I think it just kind of beats us at this point. He is going to withdraw though. Can we see Tangrowth? Awesome. Can we hit the Hydro? can. Uh, that looks somewhat spadef. Giga Drains, he gets all of his health back. Um, I think just going Curum potentially is the best play. Um, just let me see Starmie to Tangrowth. Uh, Hydro Pump did like 30%, so I assume it's like max spadef. Which means a psychic is never doing anywhere or no enough damage. But at the same time, weakening this is big for me. Just Giga Rain. Probably should have just gone Curum. Probably sh yeah, I should have just gone Curum actually. That was a stupid play. If he's spadef then. I'm just checking. Plus two if he's spadef. Ice punch will do a good amount of damage, but he does so much to me in return. Uh, maybe I should have just spun. Um, I should be able to Ice Beam into Focus Blast. But I think his play is actually just to sack this, and if he sacks this... Never mind. Let's say if he sacks this, I have a chance. Um, oh yeah, he's still got the Rotom. Fuck. I forgot about the Rotom. I mean, I could knock this out. Alternative is I just go. Like, I just can't beat the Tangrowth if I lose this. I think he's gonna know that. I don't know what my end game is here is. I have not played this well at all. So uh, yeah, unfortunate. Like, if it was Yachi Lando, it didn't matter anyway. Um, he's crafty and drain punches. He gives me the plus two. I don't actually think I need to. I don't think I need to. How much is drain punch doing to me? Drain Punch is not doing a whole lot. Drain Punch at plus two is doing a whole lot in return. Um, I'm just going. I'm going for game. If he knocks off, wild play, but I think he just Drain Punches it. Do I need to Rock Polish? Probably. Probably do. 
That is more than I was hoping for. If he is Scarf Lando, in 65 to 78. I'm going to click Drain Punch. Expecting the Tangrowth to come out. Get some health back. There's Tangrowth. I believe Drain Punch into Ice Punch should knock this out. Oh yeah. Just annoying that he's set he is. I could just Stone Edge. Like, my play is to Rock Polish. I, I've got an Ice Punch, this is the thing. Like, I've got to do this. And then what? Hope for a Crit Focus Blast? I just don't have enough Mons, I don't think, to win this game. If he throws and goes Lando here. Because I'm just taking too much damage. That's the, the issue I've got here. If I had spun, I mean, fine, and it's not the first time this season that that has occurred. He goes into this, do I have to keep... Like, Curum dies, right? <laughs> Just Curum dies straight up to Earthquake. So, I... I think I have to do this and then bank on a freeze. I think that is, that's all I can do. Um, he is going to Earthquake. I could also Focus Blast. Uh, if I want to win this game, I think I've got a Focus Blast. Um, Ice Beam Freeze is also a possibility. So, if he's just Scarfed, then he'll outspeed me here regardless. Okay, so. I think Ice Beam Freeze is probably still my play. But the Scrafty is going to be doing enough. Really wishing I just run boots on this. Like, I was boots until the last minute, but I ran boots on like four mons specifically for the situation where he was out T spikes and I couldn't get rid of them. So, you know, that's on me. I didn't need the assault vest on my star me, I should have just been boots. Again, hindsight. Um, I've got to go for the ice beam freeze. We don't get it. So that's going to be game. We lose 1-0 to Irish. <sighs> there was a lot of misplays. A lot of bad prep. But I, like I said, I was kind of rushing prep a little bit. So it is what it is. We are going to move to 3-4. and four. We've got to kind of win these last two games to have a chance. And it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Um, yeah, I'm unfortunate, but Irish played that really well. Uh, deserve to win that game. I did not plep, plep, <laughs> prep or play particularly well, so I can't, I can't in my right mind really say that I deserve to win that. But um, I also I didn't make any predictions or reads necessarily when I needed to. So I, I yeah, I can't complain too much. I should have played that a lot differently. Any kind of damage with a rack when it would be nice. We did get max sleep turns, but I'm not gonna, not gonna dwell on that. I, I that's just a game. But. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else, like other than bringing Boots Rapid Spin, which was absolutely a better bring here. Um, I don't think there was anything else I could have done necessarily. Um, 
I don't recall much of the game, I'm, I'm going to be honest. But yeah, good game to Irish. I'm going to stop rambling and just say make sure to check him out. His link will be down in the description below. If you're enjoying the content, please leave a like, subscribe. And until next one, have a great day, guys. Peace.